So question number three, uh, we're going to do an alternate method for this. And we've set up the angle alpha as arctan of four. So I've set that up in blue. And we've set up arctan of negative two or five as beta in red. So we end up with uh, this red triangle on the right hand side. And angle alpha or angle theta is going to be alpha plus beta. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to first of all draw angle beta in quadrant one, which is going to make it the opposite of beta. So we're going to call that negative beta. And we can see that the difference between those two angles, the red triangle and the blue triangle, the difference in those angles is going to be theta. And so we have theta is equal to alpha minus negative beta, which is really the same as alpha plus beta. So that angle theta is now represents angle alpha plus beta. So this is going to involve the cosine law. And to do this, what we've done is we've got angle beta in the red triangle. And I'm going to match the blue triangle onto that red triangle by scaling the base of that blue triangle. Instead of having a length of 1, I'm going to make it a length of 5. That makes everything 5 times bigger. And that makes the vertical height, instead of 4, it's going to be now 20. The hypotenuse of that blue triangle is now going to be 5 root 17. And by doing that, we can see that that highlighted yellow triangle, we have three sides of that triangle. We're going to have root 29, 18, and 5 root 17 as the three sides of that triangle. I have an angle theta in there. And we can find the cosine of theta using the cosine law. So I'm going to set up the cosine law for this problem. So we end up with 18 squared, or a squared, is equal to b squared, so root 29 squared, plus c squared, which is 5 root 17 squared, minus 2 times root 29 times 5 root 17 cosine of angle theta. And what we're then going to do is we're going to rearrange this and solve for cosine of theta. So cosine theta is equal to 18 squared minus root 29 squared minus 5 root 17 squared all over negative 2 root 29 5 root 17. Okay, so working this all out, I end up in the numerator, I end up with 130, sorry, negative 130 over, and this works out to be negative 10 square root of 4 93. Simplified, this becomes 13 over square root 493. So now we solve for cosine theta, so we can then draw our picture for cosine theta, and through that we can find our sine theta. So in our standard position circle, so we have cosine of theta it's going to be 13 draw it a little bit cleaner it's going to be 13 root 4 93 and using pythagoras i'm going to have 493 minus 13 squared that gives me square root of 324, which is equal to 18. Since that is my angle theta, the same theta, although I'm not using that up to that scaling triangle, I've now used the right tri right angle for that that angle theta. I've got the three sides of that sine of theta, which is really 
sine of alpha plus beta that's going to be equal to 18 over the square root of 493. Okay, so this represents the solution to that problem.